All right, you guys, so now we're starting out with unit one, lesson one on scales and scale copies, okay? So we're gonna start here, and I've written on this just because this isn't the first time trying to do this video, but, so you'll see as we go along. So here's a picture of a student, and it's saying, which of these would be, do you think would be scale copies? Well, let's look at them. This one, so a scale copy, think about, um, a scale copy being is enlarged, enlarged, enlarged or smaller, okay? Bigger or smaller, let's put it that way. So this one, although it's the same picture of the boy, it looks like it's squished this way, but pulled this way, okay? So it might be the same exact size here to here, which it looks like it might be, but it's stretched. So that's not a scale copy, okay? It was stretched up and down. This looks like it's the same picture this way, right? But it's stretched this way, so that's not a scale copy. This guy, I will tell you, is a scale copy. Now, he looks the exact same. His eyes are proportional, his mouth is proportional, okay? Um, it's just that this picture is smaller than this picture. But it's smaller in every direction, okay? In every part of it. If we look at this one, again, it looks exactly like that picture, only it's bigger. Every part is bigger. His nose is a little bit bigger. His eyes are a little bit bigger. His hair is a little bit bigger. And this and this look like they're proportional or that they you just took that whole picture and enlarged it, not just parts of it. This one should be kind of obvious. It's tilted, okay? So if we looked at this and we know that this is a scale copy and this is a scale copy, and I want to know what a scale copy mean on question number three, it means it's the same picture, right? If I just looked at this and I said, okay, here's... These two are scale copies, these three are not. What do you think it means? It means that, well, it's the same picture, but it has to be proportional. Proportional means that if I enlarge it by two on one thing, I enlarge it by two everywhere. If I reduced it, I reduce it everywhere, not just left to right or up or down, side to side. It has to be every little thing has to be reduced, okay? So a scale factor um, or a scale copy, I mean, can be either the exact same photo larger or smaller so every part of it has to be okay and it'll make sense more sense as we go on all right so i wrote all, wrote all over these just to put the numbers in ahead of time so if i looked at this f here okay it is saying here's an original scale drawing which other ones are scale drawings well let's look at it this i've said is one across four this way or i split it up into two and two and two this way but look at the blue right now okay so if I look at this guy, it's six and three and one and a half, okay, or 1.5. Now here's how I'm gonna know if it's a scale copy. That means that I had to do exactly the exact same thing to every line. So I'm gonna look at the one because that's gonna be the easiest for me to figure out. If I did one, how do I get to 1.5 or one and a half? I multiplied it by one and a half because any number times one is itself. So I want to know if it's a scale drawing, my scale factor has to be one and a half. So if I did two and I multiply it by 1.5 or one and a half, do I get three? Well, yeah, if I do two one and a half, I do get three. So that's proportional, okay? And then this way, if I did four times one and a half, do I get six? Well, four times one is four, Half of four is two, four plus two is six, so that works. Or I could just multiply it out. So that's how I would figure out, is that a scale copy? And yes, it is. On this one, I'm gonna do the same thing when there's a lot less writing on this one. All right, so again, I'm gonna start here. I have one and I have two. That means my scale factor would have to be two. That means every part of it has to be twice as big, two times a scale factor of two, did that give me four? It did, okay? So this side is twice as big as that side. That means this side has to be twice as big as this side. Well, this side's eight, this side's four, eight is twice as big as four. So that one is also a scale copy, okay? And visually you can see it, it just looks bigger, the exact same thing, but bigger. But look at this guy, does that look the same? No, so automatically I know it's not a scale copy, but let's prove it. All right, so if I look again at this part, so I'm gonna start with, this line is one unit long. This line is three units long. That means my scale factor would have to be three. That means that this one has to be three times the size as this one. 
If I look at this side, I get one, two, three, four. This side is two. Is four three times as big as two? Well, no, it's only twice as big. So that side doesn't work, so that whole thing won't work. It has to be all sides. This side is the same thing. Actually, this side and this side are equal, so they can't be three times as big. Number four, I don't even have to think about, although this is exactly the same. This is one unit over. What is my problem? This is tilted, so it's not exactly a scale factor. So that one definitely wouldn't work. This one looks like it could be, so let's check it out. Okay, if I did one to two, that means my scale factor would have to be two, right? That means that all my sides, this one is twice as big as this one. That means all my sides have to be twice as big. So if I'm gonna look at this side here, that's three across, this one's two across, is three twice as big as two. Well, no. Two times two is four, so that would have to be four for that to be a scale figure. So that one doesn't work. All right, this one looks like it might work too, except for if I look across here, that's one, that's one. That means my scale factor would have to be one, okay? So it doesn't have a scale factor if it doesn't work on all of them, by the way, but I'm saying my scale factor would have to be one. Is two times my scale factor of one equal to one? No, so that one doesn't work. And if I look at this one, the last one, again, I'm gonna start with my one because it's just easy to figure out how did I get from one to three? I multiply by three. So that means my scale factor had to be three. Is two times three equal to six? Yes. Is four times three, this is 12 long, is four times three equal to 12? Yes. So this is also a scale factor, okay? So my questions at the bottom are asking me which ones are scale copies? Well, one, two, and seven are. And then even under there, it's saying, well, how do I know? So number two says, how do I know that they're scale copies or how do they compare to the original? This is my original. Drawing one was one and a half times my original. Drawing two, so my scale factor is one and a half. Drawing two was two times my original. So my scale factor is two. Drawing seven was three times my original, so my scale factor is three. Moving on. All right, so here's the same F. We've got one, two, four. That's a four, I kind of didn't do that big enough. Let's make you a four a little bit bigger. All right, so I did one and we're gonna draw one together. So I said, I'm gonna use a scale factor of three. So I went from one to three. I did one times my scale factor has to equal my new one. So this would have to be three. So if this side was two, two times three gives me six. So I did one, two, three, four, five, I did seven. Oops, pretend that one's not there. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, it should end here. I didn't count very well, did I? All right, so this one is one, two, three, four. I'm saying my scale factor is three, so four times three has to equal 12. So this had to be 12. Hopefully I counted right this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that one's 12. Let's do one that's smaller, all right? So let's do one, because my scale drawing doesn't have to be larger, it can be smaller. So let's do one that has a scale factor of, we'll do it easy, one half. So I want my new shape to be half the size of my old shape. So I'm gonna look at my top thing. If it's two, what's half of two? One. So that means my top of my F would have to be one. If I look here, this is four. What is half of four? Four times one half would give me two. So that means this way would have to be one, two units. All right, my third side though is one. What's half of one? One half. So this would have to be one half. So that's how I would draw a scale factor. So this one is actually, let's get over a little bit. So I can make it larger or I can make it much smaller. I could have made it anything as long as whatever I do to each side, I do to every side by the exact same number. If it's your scale factor is a fraction, 
it's going to reduce it. So scale factor less, it's kind of important to know, scale factor less than one reduces, makes it smaller. A scale factor greater than one is going to make it larger. Makes it bigger. Okay, so that's what you really need to know about scale factors. Whatever you do to one, you have to do to the other. All right, what else we got here? Um, that's about it on this one. Okay, the other thing were cards we're gonna do in class. All right, so this just is a summary of what we did. Okay, so it's saying a scale copy. It says the second and third drawings are scale copies of the first one. So you can see that they're the exact same shape, different sizes. If I look at the W's though, this is the original figure. This one's just stretched out a little too much. So it's not a scale copy. This is about half the size maybe, but this part is from here to here is not, okay? And then this one looks like it's just scrunched in a little bit. It's the same height. Um, so it would have to be identical if it was the same height, and it's not. So that's what we mean by scale copy. All right, and that's pretty much it on that. Have a great day.